Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive when you love to see it. Jonas, you're the man on the love sticks. to see it. Yeah, you don't, you don't love to see it. Start a new intro? No, I just read it on Reddit, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's funny. No, so we're playing the Madden 20. It's the Houston oiled up pappies, and we're going to put a pounding on the brownies. Oh, yeah. As always, playing offense only sim in that D. Yeah. Using that balanced playbook, playing on all men arcade mode, and we're in the Corpus Championship game. Oh my god, can you believe it, folks? I can't believe that we're here. <laughs> I mean, I can. All right, Jonas, now don't lose. Right? That's all you got to do is just whatever you do, don't lose the Odell. Oh, and Denzel. Did you hear about what happened with Odell? Did he come out as gay? No, Jesus Was it him no, that no, just no. got, uh, he slapped the uh, security bonks. guard on the, on the, on the buttocks? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was him. All right, so Odell Beckham Jr., I may be wrong. I do not know football names, but I'm pretty sure Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, just got a case on him for assault because while he was in the locker room, there was like a security guard that came up, and one guy was smoking a cigar. No marijuana, just a cigar. And he said, hey, you got to put that cigar out. And Odell just comes up, and he smacks the security guard on the butt. So Male? Yeah. I mean, Odell was probably under the influence of alcohol. Why would he be under the influence in the locker room? Um, I think this happened at the LSU game. Oh, oh, oh. So it wasn't like a Browns game. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's not just in his locker room just slapping everybody <laughs> on the butt. I mean, I hope not. I'm sure they do that, dude. You know, that's how football guys do it. They just slap each other's butts. <laughs> I don't get it, but sure. So, needless to say, the security guard called the police, and he's like, hey, I got this guy on tape, mind you, slapping me on the butt. Now, he didn't, like, slap and squeeze and grab or anything, but when you really think about it, Jonas, if I were to do that to a young lady, I would probably, you Go to know. Jail. Yeah, exactly. The same recourse. So, that is what's the, You haven't heard about that? Really? No, you haven't heard about Slapgate? No, dude. I haven't. Wow. Yeah, dude. I've been, I've been in the in the bushes. And I think it was the same. That was the same time where Future was called giving away money to some of the uh, the students who won the game. Oh God. So then there was like a big thing about so there was like Slapgate and Futuregate all at the same time. <laughs> yeah, man. And you know you can't give money to college kids. All right. So, but he was just like passing out money in the locker room, and why did he think that'd be a good idea? I don't know. Is Future smart? No. No. <laughs> no. No. Like a musical genius, for sure. A millionaire, yes. You know I mean, he's I rich, thinking? so you know he's smart there. About today. Yeah. It's like, and I don't know what made me think about this. But so many people, like, look up to, like, celebrities and, like, oh, I know what made it spark me today. Mm -hmm. Today I heard that uh, Kim Kardashian was starting a new charity about, I don't even remember what it was, homeless people or something. And they play, and I heard and, she, and she played. They played like a clip of her, like the homeless or whatever it is, is a is a is a detriment. It's a problem to the society. Of the, and I'm like, who told this bee to say that? Like I'm like, just because. <laughs> I'm like, just. I was, <laughs> because Keep it was going, not. Man. Keep going. It's not how she speaks. Like you, we've all seen clips of the Kardashians. She, she, it's not that that sentence would not be something she thought of on her own to say. I mean, the way I talk on this channel isn't necessarily the way I. It's pretty close. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's pretty close. But I guess my point was like, just because like you you happen to become a celebrity and get rich doesn't mean you're smart. It doesn't mean you know what you're doing. It doesn't mean that you have a better opinion than anybody I, yeah, else. Dang it, Jonas! I hate to drop this on you, but she's actually been going to college for her law degree. Oh, well, good for her. So she's closer to a lawyer than either one of us will ever be. Truth. 
I understand. The stigma behind the Kim Kardashian is, hey, I saw your boobs and now you're rich. I don't know how that works either. Because I would, if I could just get rich for flashing my junk around town, I would. <laughs> would you? I would make a sex tape with Ray. No, I would make a sex tape with any female superstar and I would just get rich off of showing my junk. I would do it. But, uh,. She managed to do it in her oh, own way. Oh, we missed a fifty-sixer, dude. Plus, I think I think her whole family. She comes from money anyway. But well, in oh my god, we're down fourteen nothing. We're gonna lose both championship games, maybe. Yeah. I mean, what? Hold on. <laughs> I don't know the order of these videos. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we get for Jesus for recording things. Out. But yeah, so yes, I understand Jonas. But yeah, Kim Kardashian, she's she's actually. Kinda, she was just my she, the, like. It wasn't like to rap, to rib on her. It was. It the, sounded like that. Well, I know it came across. You were like, "Who's this dumb broad <laughs> entering in and homeless matters?" <laughs> told, what I said was, "Who told this B to say that?" <laughs> That's a little different. It sounds like dumb broad to me. No, um. But yeah, she's. God. She's actually she's actually got a brain in her head a little bit there, big guy. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Um, but no, like just because people are rich doesn't mean they're smart. No, but when people are rich, they have access to the best educations. I believe that Aunt Becky has taught us that. Yeah. <laughs> so Aunt I'm, Becky I, yeah. definitely taught so, us that. So I'm sure that she has access to the best uh, education. Not to mention that she could probably make a sizable donation to the college she's attending to. I'm not saying she has. I'm just saying that she probably has. Mm. Are you saying someone else is taking her law test? I'm not saying somebody's taking her law test. You know, it's crazy, man. Did you know that, like, uh, what's the dude from Whoop That Trick? Uh, radio. Uh, d- uh, d- radio. Whoop, whoop That Trick. Uh, I don't even know what whoop that trick it's is. It's the guy, dude. The guy from the movies. Uh, Ludicrous? Cuba Gooding Jr. Oh, okay. What, uh, what does whoop that trick have to do with Cuba Gooding Jr.? What's the movie you was in with uh, Ludicrous, the MTV movie? Uh, why are you giving me that I don't look? Have, I have no cl- I don't think Ludacris and Cuba Gooding Jr. were in a movie Yes, together. they were. <laughs> they 100% were. The fact that you don't know it. Uh, Hustle and Flow. That movie. He was in Hustle and Flow. Cuba Gooding Jr. was in Hustle and Flow? Are you yes. sure? A hundred percent. Okay. I'll trust you on that. A hundred percent. No, it was not him. It was That was the other guy. Terrence Howard, you Terrence mean? Terrence Howard. Wow. I was good. And you're coming at me like, I don't know what's going on. All right. Well, you know, they look a lot alike. Don't, you, you can't say that, though. <laughs> I can say that. You can't say that. <laughs> I don't think Cuba Gooding Jr. and us Terrence Howard look Man, anything alike. Those motherfuckers look just the same. They brothers. Anyway. <laughs> wow. <laughs> anyway. So, now I don't remember which guy it is, though. It could have been either one of them. I think Terrence Howard is actually like a, like, he has like a PhD. In yeah, I think a, it is him. He's super smart. Yeah. Yeah. But if I heard him talking about homeless people, like, shut the F up, Terrence Howard. <laughs> right. Who the hell told this H? Who the hell told Terrence Howard to come in here and say anything? Right. Exactly. <laughs> right. He's like, it's, a, it's an epidemic of the country. And I, you know, Terrence Howard, get out of here with that homeless talk, <laughs> stupid A. That's the thing, man. It's like, we see these people in movies. We see them on television. People probably think that we're idiots. Guess what? Jonas is pretty smart. Am I? Yeah, uh, yeah sure. Yeah. Yeah. If I t- smart too. If I tell people you are Jonas, they got to believe you. Perception it's all, is reality, It's man. all they got to go on, dude. Yeah. We come across as very intelligent when we do this. <laughs> no. No. Shh. No. no. Especially when you get the reins and you start talking do not, about. Do not talk about my reins, you, Roman or otherwise. You ain't allowed to have the reins. See, it's, it's things like that, Roman reins. Who even watches wrestling? You. We could make this into the wrestle cast if you'd like. We could just talk about the new day. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know if they still exist. Uh, I think they do. I don't watch it very much anymore either. That's true. Like I remember, you used to watch WrestleMania and stuff in the living room. Is that okay to talk about? I'm yeah, sorry, sure. I, don't I don't wanna yeah. all right. Yeah, I used to watch it. Like I'll watch it here and there, but no, nah, dude, I'm No, nah, you went to the point where you were like, Hey, I'm watching the Wrestle Circus, I wanna go see a record. Yeah, wrestle I like going circus. to watch it in person, it's fun. <sighs> Is it though? Like not WWF. That's not fun in person. Yeah, because it's too big. It's yeah, too like big. Wrestle Circus is small was small, yeah. 
All right. And then you want, and then weren't there like some uh, little people that were wrestling or something? That no, got- uh, I saw an advertisement. There was a well, they call it midget wrestling, but I'm not calling it that because that would be not nice. Um, I was thinking about going to watch that, but I didn't. They they called it that on the flyer. That's what it's called. That's what the it's called like midget pro wrestling or something. That's the name of the like like the WWF part of it. Get the heck out of here. Yep. That's just like calling. It would be great <laughs> if, we, if we could stop this team from scoring ever. That's like the Washington Redskins, man. All I have done is score, and then they score immediately right after. I've come back from a 14-point deficit to just have the team be trash. No, Joni, don't lose now. We can't go in. We can't pull a Patriots. <laughs> don't call. You ain't gonna call it that. I just hey, did. No, we ain't gonna do that. We're gonna call it something else. If anything, that's a Browns move. Well, but the Patriots actually did it. They Went lost. undefeated and then lost in the Super Bowl. Uh, Yeah. It's funny because all the teams that I can think that have done that, I don't like either. They, they're they the only team that's went undefeated and lost in the Super Bowl. No. Wait, didn't... Uh, what's the team that the Cavs beat? They had a perfect season, right? Or no, close. they lost like nine games. Which might, as well, might as well be a perfect season. Jeez, that, and... and Basketball, that's a perfect season. Yeah. When they, you, didn't, they did not lose double-digit games. <coughs> yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, you play 82, you only lose nine. <laughs> 82 games! And you lose nine, of, and, then you don't, and then you don't win the championship. Oh, that's man. like the equivalent, for sure. Yeah. Boom. And we ain't going to call them that. Can our, can our team please stop the it's, team? We don't talk about Golden State in this household. We no, do we not. don't. Please stop them. Please stop them. Please. <laughs> Jonas, man, you just got to accept your accept life for what it is at times, oh man. Oh, my God, dude. Our team can't stop anyone. You want to hear God laugh? No. Tell him your plans. Ah, I've heard that. That means that to expect nothing but the unexpected. No, that means that <laughs> your plans ain't ish in the universe, my man. <laughs> it don't mean nothing. Mm-hmm. Get in the zone. I mean, Auto when I, zone. When I was a kid, I planned on being president. And now Were look, you? Now I'm sitting in the living room with here with you. making. I you, called time out. Oh, we don't have any timeouts. Making YouTube videos. Holy F, dude. We don't have any timeouts. I thought we did. That's unfortunate. Oh, we got it. Good job, Jonas. Ooh, that was clutch, friends. I'm, I'm proud of you. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? We did it. Oh, my God. We almost lost. I, I, I never would have thought I'd seen the day where you, we come back at the end of the game. Where you do this that, all the time. I'm clutch, bro. Congratulations. Who? I was scared, TNT. I was not. All right. I was never concerned oh. for a second. Because you you're, you uh, no, because appreciate you're pl- my abilities? No, because you're playing on easy mode. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that. Send your friends our way. Watch Grandma play cribbage and then come watch us and her too and things. For Jonas. TNT Dynamite. We are.